So how does it feel to be I mean, back playing football again? Man, it feels great. Uh, great energy. Just I'm glad to be back there, back out there with my teammates. And um, just, you know, getting used to the football schedule and the atmosphere out here. When did you decide you wanted to come back and play? You know, when that moment came to you? Um, I have to say probably like six months ago, I was watching the games and I was just like so anxious and I, I couldn't even sleep at night because I was thinking about football so much. And um, I sat down with Coach Moore and we talked for a couple hours and um, we decided that, you know, it would be best if I came back on the team. What's been the biggest kind of adjustment to getting back into it, you know, shaking off some rust or whatever it is? Uh, the biggest adjustment was waking up early <laughs> for the workouts, 5.30 in the morning. And I wasn't used to that because, you know, I stopped playing for a couple months, so I was sleeping in every morning. We had to get used to that, too. It was terrible. Yeah. You mentioned uh, kind of watching the games. What did you miss most about football? Uh, what I miss most, I miss the camaraderie in the locker room. I miss the relationships. Uh, I miss the structure, most importantly. And I miss the, you know, the love that we would get from, you know, fans, kids, you know, the elder community. You know, just, I miss the whole game in general. You've, you've known Josh for a while, too. How much of a role did he kind of play in, in this? You know, Josh was real laid back when, you know, I made my decision and he was always there for me. Um, I'm actually living at his dorm right now, sleeping on his couch until I get my dorm. So, you know, Josh's been my boy since eighth grade, so, you know, he was always by my side. Why'd you quit in the first place? Man, uh, it was a lot of off-field issues I was going through. Um, but most importantly, I'm out here with my teammates and you know, striving to be great every day. You know, being out here for all spring, what's the biggest thing you think you need to kind of work on to make an impact this year? Uh, the biggest thing I need to work on is uh, being patient and staying focused. How are your routes? My routes, uh, I think they're phenomenal, but you know, it's always room for improvement. When you were out of football, how did you keep yourself in shape? Like, what did, did you just go to the gym? Did you run on the track? Like, what was your kind of workout regimen during that time? Uh, just working out in the gym, because I have a gym at home, so I was either working out in the gym or I just go catch some passes with some of my friends. The two, last two years of high school, I and mean, you kind of, it's kind of rough. You go from Diamond Bar to Bishop Gorman, then you're at UCLA. Was that part of the, the, the problem or the issues that you were coming up with, just that you're making transition to transition in a short period of time? Uh, I wouldn't say that was a problem. I would say it was uh, more family oriented. Um, you know, I was going through a lot of family issues. Uh, my grandmother passed away, my auntie passed away from lupus. And, you know, I was like in the state where I wasn't mentally there. And, you know, trying to keep up with a football schedule, so you, you have to really be mentally strong and be prepared for all the obstacles that's thrown at you. And I feel like I wasn't, you know, going to give it my all with going through what I was going through. So I decided that I shouldn't play this year, or well, last year. How did it feel when you got popped for the first time? It felt good. <laughs> <laughs> it felt good, I missed it. But, but you know, I'm just trying to make sure I don't get popped anymore. <laughs> Thank you.